Welcome to this overview of the new version of Enescope Analytics. The first thing you might notice when you load up the new version, especially if you're used to the previous versions, is the new white theme, designed to make it easier to view your data on smaller screens and to make the graph information clearer to see. As before, when you log into Analytics, the first thing you'll see will be the overview for your organization, showing the current day's consumption at one hour resolution. If you wish to view individual clients, you can use the left-hand menu here, and in the client section, all of the client tree beneath your organization will be available to click on to navigate to. So in this example, I'll go to the warehouse, and you can see that we're now looking at the client warehouse location, and if I want to get back to that top level organization at the top, I can click back up to my demonstration organization and navigate back there. I can also search for specific clients within that menu to filter that list quickly. If you wish to view data from different date ranges, you can either click on the arrows to go back in time to the previous day pick out specific date ranges from the date picker here for say the previous week or choose a custom date range by clicking on the first and last day of the range you wish to view. As you'll probably have noticed if you've used previous versions of analytics the filters for viewing different circuits and parameters are now on the right hand side in this menu here. As before removing or adding different circuits from the view and then updating will allow you to view the information for those circuits. The different electrical parameters can be accessed in the field section the resolution of the data can be left on auto if you prefer or you can choose a more specific time unit to view and as always you can look at individual phases. If you're working on a smaller screen or maybe presenting to a client, the filter menu can be hidden by tapping on this button here. As before we have options to alter how the graph is displayed if you wish to see the totals rather than individual circuits as well as to automatically refresh the graph with new data as it becomes available. A new feature here is that you can maximize the graph to fill the available space, especially useful for a display or for use in presentations. The download and print options, also in with this graph menu, you can print from here or download the data as a CSV file, as an image, or as a vector image. You can also quickly share the link to the current display by tapping on this button here, which will copy the, the link to this view to your clipboard for pasting into an email. As before, if you add more parameters into the graph, such as in this example I'm going to add in power and voltage, The new user interface also works much better on mobile devices. So you can see from our demo here, the graph now fits on the screen better, can be maximized to fill the screen space that's available. The summary information and tabular data scales to fit. The filters are available as they are on desktop by showing the filter menu here and where you choose the amendments you might want to make to the circuits or the parameters that you wish to show. 
and then tap the update button. If you wish to navigate to different clients whilst on the mobile view, these can be accessed from the main menu at the top here.